Yeah, hi. Uh, let's get to the weather radar or satellite probably first. Mm, I wanted to talk about the Mediterranean, the Iranian Sea, the Alps, geothermal activity and such. I made already some videos where I was pointing out this region here that there is this kind of weather system really steadily in place, doesn't move. And it's just spinning around. And somehow it seems that somewhere here might be the center of it, because it's spinning at the same place since quite a time. Let's go to weather radar. And obviously we have lightning and much of it. Still again. And we have lightning over open seas. And as we learned, the possibility for a superbolt happening over seas is much bigger than over land. And here we have Naples. Getting bombarded by lightning. So what do we have in Naples, which is probably noteworthy? Wait a second, I will show you. Campi Felegre, volcanic unrest. Vesuvius. Pompeii. And such. I would suggest you to take once a look at this region when you are on Google Earth. We actually had even earthquake 15 hours ago, 9 kilometers in depth, which is quite shallow, I would say, for this region. So, now, let's go quickly back to Windy and to the satellite image. And then we zoom so far out that we can see the approximate center of this weather system. If we have a low pressure system, it kind of sucks energy in. If we have a high pressure, it somehow it gives it away upwards towards the skies. So I would say it's somewhere in this region. In the region of Palma, let's say like that, which is not La Palma, it's just Palma. So. Here is Palma, the island, and this is the region with what we were looking at, where is the center, at least for now. And here we have a volcano, Columbretes Islas. Probably extinct, none during the past 10,000 years. What a coincidence. And I once tried to check those islands out, but somehow Google Earth doesn't really show what's there. I don't know. 
Oh, there are a few of those little islands. And they're really strangely, the colors are not correct. You can't really zoom in. Well, anyway, Vulcano. And if you look a bit around there, you probably will notice other structures, which could be volcanoes and other structures like square figures. Is that an old town? Why not? Could be. There's other interesting stuff going on there between the islands. This could be also an old town which got probably destroyed by some event because we have this kind of crater line here. Here are more Maybe it is this, maybe it's something completely different. So, mm, let's check out this quake here. This is really close where I have been living years ago. which was here. So, here we got the quake. One kilometer in depth, it could be well possible that it was this kind of explosion work or something. But why not something completely different than that? Because obviously there is something going on geologically, otherwise they wouldn't dig anything there out of the ground. So, why I take this quake and my old hometown in this video is this. That's from this thermal bath in Switzerland from Baden. Large outdoor infin infinity pool, flu flow pool, wellness pool, reaction pool, and hot cold pool, terrace, two saunas, steam room, all kinds of stuff you find there. And then you also find some little bit of knowledge about that. Baden is the oldest spa town in Switzerland with 18 mineral-rich thermal springs. The water seeps into distant region sources named the Titlis region, for example, which is in the Alps, and migrates through zones over 1,000 meters deep. At the deepest point of the Jura Clues, where the limit intersects with the Muschelkalk, Probably I got to explain to you what they are talking about. Mm, so, Jura Clues is this region here. Uh, obviously, there's a mountain coming down here, and there's a mountain rising up here. No, it doesn't really work. But anyway, that mountain here. It's the last one, at least they told me in school it's like that. It's the last one of these mountains because they are like this kind of chalk. You can find ammonites and all kinds of stuff in those rocks. I had many when I was a kid. And these mountains are granite. So. Maybe we see it better like that. They look different. They are somehow different. Chalk and granite, they're different. They haven't been altered that many times through electricity. That's why they are still different. But anyway, so we are talking about this place here. Here is the the bath itself, the bath complex, which might be still under construction here on the picture because they were constructing this again, constructing this again for 10 years or something, I don't know. Anyway, let's go back to the article. Muschelkalk. 
The water reaches the surface after 8 to 10 years at 47 degrees with 46 grams of minerals per liter. Baden has the most mineral rich thermal water in Switzerland. In Europe, there are only comparable springs in Hungary. They dissolve minerals, especially sodium, calcium, and sulfite. And trace elements of, are of particular importance for the healing effect. Sulfite, which is sulfur, which has a um, volcanic origin. The discovery of the warm springs goes back to times before the birth of Christ. The Romans expanded the place with a the thermal bath into a large bathing center with a meaningful name area. Okay. Let's check out Hungary quickly on the volcanic map. Hungary. Bakoni Balaton Island, probably extinct. None during the past 10,000 years. Little Hungarian plain, none during the past 10,000 years. There are probably many more volcanoes which are not on the map. None during the past 10,000 years, probably extinct. But anyway. So. And there's not a too big distance from the quake and the thermal baths to Kaiserstuhl Vulcano, probably extinct. Last eruption 16 to 19 million years ago. Or not. And then we have, of course, Uh, clermont ferrand jean de which is also at the same region. Now I want to show you one last picture. This is from an interactive map showing areas with geothermal heating potential in Europe. Note Hungary. There's a really good potential for geothermal activity. And the map is missing because Switzerland doesn't belong to the EU, I guess. I don't know what's the reason else elsewise. Can you say elsewise? I just said it. Elsewise. <laughs> this area should be read too. Just that you remember, there are no islands in space, not even in Europe. Yeah, there might be also something here, I guess. So, geothermal potential of Europe. There's sulfur in the water and it's hot. And we have volcanoes everywhere. So I guess if we have action going on here in this region with really much lightning, it will probably distribute the energy elsewhere too. And here we had this tragedy in summer in Germany, massive landslide, people died, really close to a volcano, super volcano. So, I think it's really interesting to watch now uh, this is spinning somehow the same place third week or a month or how long does it already does the same thing here and there are like these really special places like this one 
how there's middle of the ocean or like this it's not ocean i know baltic sea no it's not the baltic sea what is it <clears throat> i don't remember the name of it but anyway there is like stuff going on tell you Things are obviously cranking up, loading maple skets, lightning. And there's always also the possibility <laughs> if there has been made this kind of crustal magnetic maps and these kind of things once 20 years ago or even more or these kind of even more rapid changes which were happening earth crust crustal shift and these kind of things that those mm, things which were happening underneath the ground possibly can get visible now through Earth's weakening magnetic field. So they might shine through on radar. And this is also a region where what you should every now and then check about lightning. Because there's one dude who can tell a story about this region. His name was Noah because he crashed with his ark into Mount Ararat. Which is somewhere here. And there are many volcanoes. And other stuff going on too. So I leave it here. Lightning, thunder strikes, geothermal activity. Oh yeah, actually, winter came. <laughs> winter came into Europe. We got about 20 centimeters of snow in, what, 30 hours or something. And now it's plunging in from the north, the cold into Europe. Let's see what happens in between there could be snowfall and whatever earthquakes even because of the pressure differential in the atmosphere and possible lightning could somehow trigger also stuff yeah it is impressive Look at that. <laughs> That's a massive spinning structure there. Do we get more rain to the desert? Yeah, I guess so. Rain. I guess. Maybe not. But really nice filaments connecting, energy streams connecting. Due to high energy, the water weaporized. That's why it got visible. Yeah. Thanks. 